Hello, everybody. Look, I'm wearing my friend Benny's shoes. Thank you to everyone who ordered a pair of my shoes, the Dream Create Share shoes. These sold out super quick, actually, and they were only open for pre-orders for 24 hours, and they were actually really limited, so I've only got one pair. So the reason I'm not wearing them today is because I want to keep them for the special occasions for uh, car meetups and things like that. But today we're going to go pick up a car that I'm going to be driving around with for a couple of days, so I'm super excited. We're taking the Ferrari, uh, and we're going to go see it. I have only seen a couple photos, so I'm super pumped to see this. They're doing roadworks, so much noise. <laughs> Want to come out and enjoy the, the warmer weather on the terrace, but all day long. Wait, I've just realized I have no idea where we're going. Where's Bentley Monaco? They've moved it. It was next to Aston and Ferrari and stuff, but I don't think so anymore. Oh God, I feel bad for the neighbors. Morning, everybody. Here's a V8 alarm clock to wake you all up. Okay, I think I know where it is. And you know, they, were, they said it was going to rain today, but look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Right, we are going over there and then you're gonna have to drive this other one because we're obviously gonna have two cars after this. Is that okay? Someone has to do it. Someone's gotta do it. Take one for the team. <laughs> what, are the, what are the issues with the job, is it? <laughs> Engine is so cold, you can feel it. It just feels like it's really clumsy this early in the morning. Open the valves now that we've left the neighborhood. You know what's kind of funny? We're going from like the lightweight, ultimate, hardcore, loud supercar to the ultimate luxury, daily, sporty coupe. We're kind of going from one extreme to the other, which is going to be interesting. Going from a 430 Scuderia to a Mullina Continental GT. See how this goes. We briefly had a police escort, and then for some unknown reason, the police escort decided to go the other way. How odd. Right, well that should do it. Parking wise, I reckon, no? Car's pretty filthy. Right, let's go see this Bentley. I forgot my phone. It's in my hand. My phone was in my hand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, it's early. Ish. Whoa. Super warm welcome here. This is like a new Bentley uh, uh, garage or showroom that they've got in Monaco. Really, really nice actually. And it's connected to Ferrari. We've got Ferrari right across from there. So some cool stocks. So some super cool cars here just in the showroom. Yeah, new flying spur. We've got the Conti GTs. There's a Bentayga over there. But super nice when you arrive, sit down, kind of sign over uh, the car, bunch of paperwork here. But they've got this really cool lounge. You've got some watches displayed from Breitling. Obviously, there's this big partnership between Breitling uh, and Bentley, where you've actually got some of the, the watches in the cars. And yeah, so usually this is all lit up, but apparently a fuse blew uh, this morning before we arrived, so it happens. But really nice little area here. But also, there's another area, which is kind of funky, which is back here, if you're gonna spec your car up. So you, this is where, if you've got tons of money, uh, you go once you've bought your Bentley, and uh, yeah, you spec it all up. So really cool. Obviously, that's not the case with what we're doing today. We are picking this car up for a few days as a very kind loan and switching it for the Ferrari. So in the end, oh, and I'm sorry, you're not going to drive the Ferrari because they're keeping it here while we take the Bentley. But you can drive it when we get it back. Anywho, so yeah, we're going to go see the car that we're getting today. I'm very pumped. Well, this is very cool. Look, this is the car. They've just given me a walk around. It was all in French. So I have to do the walk around again uh, alone for you guys. But this is the Bentley Continental GT V8 Mulliner Pack. So Mulliner Pack means it's basically just a lot more, um, well, it's the highest end of everything that Bentley do. And there's little details, like you can tell it's a Mulliner Pack because it's got this diamond into a diamond front grille. Very cool looking. And just eat this, like the sensation of luxury with this, the front lights, which are always gorgeous. Um, the Mulliner Pack you can see as well back on, on these little end, like grills on the side there. Uh, it's got these huge rims. Something which is kind of cool is the B, usually it turns with the wheel, but on this one now, it stays still. 
kind of like what, what you see on Rolls Royce quite a lot. The color is gorgeous. And yeah, I mean the whole car, so Mulliner pack you get inside this diamond into a diamond stitching it's called, um, which looks really nice. This, this spec is gorgeous. You've got dark blue leather, red leather, white stitching, red stitching, bl piano black details. It's awesome. It's got the upgraded Nime audio system, which we'll be testing out. Uh, you can see the Mulliner pack as well on the headrest right there with the stitching as well. And you can tell it's a V8 mainly because of the quad exhaust round back. It's very nice. What I love also with these is the size of the boot. We've got a big package from Bentley, very kindly, but massive boot on these. Let's go inside. Let's see the spec inside. Okay, it's kind of tricky. Did that door just close alone? I'm pretty sure it did. Ooh, watch out behind you, you got your silent butler. A seatbelt butler, probably better. Which gives you your seatbelt because uh, it is Bentley. It's a little bit too much work to reach back, isn't it? No, anyways, we've just had a um, kind of walkthrough of the car, but it was all in French. So I'm going to try and remember it all and do it again for you. First of all, it smells so good in this car. It's unbelievable. It, it, it's that new car smell, but times a thousand. And the feeling of luxury you get through it is nuts. So we spoke briefly about the Mulliner pack, which you can see here, and the diamond into a diamond stitching. Very nice, but all Mulliners come in like a choice of different specs where you get this mix of three different kinds of leather. So here you've got dark blue, red, and then the seats and steering wheel are kind of surrounded and, yeah, and stand out a lot because they're in this like contrast color. You can see it a lot in the back, which I love the fact that those are like their own bucket seats in the back. They look really cool. Cool little detail as well. It's got quite a big boot, but it's also got a ski trap, which comes out, which is a bit odd, um, but that piece is just beautiful. And then you can, yeah, you can put your skis all the way through. So that's kind of convenient to be able to put it through there. Nice little touch. You've got two cup holders, two USB plugins as well for both passengers in the back, which is a nice touch. And yeah, you can see the continuation of the diamond into a diamond stitching, leather all the way up until the sunroof, where it goes into Alcantara, but big sunroof, which will open up later. Right, when you get into this full run through upon delivery, first thing they'll run you through is all these buttons down here. The buttons here uh, look fantastic, but Erwin was just saying they do, they are quite shiny, which means you'll be able to see fingerprints a lot and you get quite a bit of reflection on them. So you kind of have to do this a little bit to be able to see exactly what you're doing. But it all starts with the start stop button, which the attention to detail on just this alone kind of sets the scene for everything else which is going on. So first of all, it's not just a start stop button. It's engulfed in this beautiful, kind of, I don't know what material it is exactly, but diamond engraved little turntable thing here, which is absolutely stunning. You've got the button, but it's also a little thing that you turn to choose between your modes. So sport mode, Bentley mode, comfort mode, and custom mode. Really nicely done. And this little diamond engraving is continued throughout the car and it's stunning, even just on all the sat nav controls and your indicators, your windscreen wiper controls, just the detail in these are stunning. Ooh, off we go. It's all kicking off. Um, yeah, so very, very nice. Now, if you press this, I want to take your attention up here because right now you can see it's this kind of piano, dark blue, gray, blackish finish, and it's all one solid piece. But if I press the start button, start the car up, V8 comes into life. It switches around and you end up having this massive screen, which is very nice. A lot of cars actually do that, or a lot of cars, a few cars, we've seen that before, a flip screen, but this is actually a triangular flip screen. So you can press it one more time and you get these really nice analog gauges, which give you outside air temperature, uh, a compass, and a stopwatch for, I don't know exactly what someone would use a stopwatch for in this car, but it is there. So that's really nice. And the way you can switch that around, I like it like this. I think it's very classy with the stopwatch there. So if you don't need the sat nav, that's what you'll be having. The screen is awesome though. Um, really big, uh, interactive touch screen, but you can also use, oh no, not that, this here to use to get through the screen, but most people will probably use it as a touch screen. You can do your climate and all sorts of different things. It is pretty reminiscent of the system you'll find in Audis, but they've given it their own touch. A few of which are really nice. Like here you have this little image of the, of the car. And if you come here, these are the buttons to put your spoiler up or down. Just the way they've integrated this, I think is really nice. And when you do it in real time, 
it will show you the spoiler going up on the screen, which is a very geeky but very cool detail, I find. So yeah, just shows the attention to detail they've, they've gone through in this car. All of this kind of brushed aluminium, again, diamond into a diamond finish here, is gorgeous. Again, real luxury feel. Just when you're touching it, it doesn't feel plasticky at all. It feels solid, feels big. You feel like you're driving a tank in this thing, like you're surrounded by acres and acres of, of cow and metal basically mm -hmm. but yeah coming back down here what else did they run us through you obviously got your electric parking brake now you've got heated ventilated seats of course this is a really nice touch for your climate control you've got these little rotating uh, things here which again have that diamond engraving but they're also little screens which is a nice touch and they change so you can do your temperature but also your fan speed so really nice again reminiscent of audi but super super nice beautiful Again with the diamond engraving, Breitling watch for Mulliner down there. So part of the Mulliner pack that this car will have. Just everything feels expensive and nice and just quality. Now, one thing I will say is you've got a digital dash here and they've uh, done it in this 3D look to make it look as analog as possible. I think it would have been really nice to keep the analog gauges personally, but that's just personal taste. These are definitely better, more functional, uh, more usable, so I see completely why they've done it, but I would have loved to have analog gauges similar to these. It would have just been a nice touch, but still very nice, much more usable because you can do things like extend your view to have your sat nav and massive. You can get all sorts of information up there, so it's definitely more usable in general. These seats are really comfy. They give you like a nice big armchair hug, um, and overall, I'm just really pumped to spend some time in this car. So the plan is now, I'm going to daily drive this car for a little bit, and we're going to make one video about what it's like to daily drive a Bentley Continental GT Mulliner. So I'm super excited and I feel very lucky to be able to do this. So thank you to Bentley Monaco here. And yeah, I'm just pumped. I'm excited to share the video with you, really get into the, the, the depths of what it's like to live with one of these things. And that will be the next video, which will be on the channel. So for now, this is just the delivery video um, of this car. I thought it'd be fun to kind of walk you through all the technicalities of the interior and go from there. So next video will be up, living with the Bentley Continental GT V8 Mulliner. Until then, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.